Okay, so if you watched a couple videos ago, we actually tested the sound level in a Model S with moonroof or sunroof, if you will, and then one with a glass roof. So now we are actually gonna throw this in a Model 3 and see what the sound level is in there. Been reading a lot online and a lot of people say it's louder inside than their Model S or X. So we're gonna actually go ahead and put that to the test. We have an awesome Model 3 to use to try out. Uh, link for his down below and also at the end. He's actually on Turo in case any of you want to rent it here in Colorado. So we'll go ahead and try that out, collect all our data, and then go ahead and go back home, analyze everything, see how the difference is, and report back. feel like I linger, linger between the words to say, eh? to say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body. And over Today is a new day and we have all the data for the Model 3 geared up against the Model S with panoramic roof and the Model S with a glass roof. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So at 25 miles an hour is where we saw the biggest shift. So the panoramic Model S was at 58 decibels, the glass roof Model S was at 61, and the Model 3 was at 64, which is actually quite a bit higher. That is six decibels higher, which equates to roughly a 46% increase in loudness. I say that because that is perceived loudness. So that was the biggest change at 45 miles an hour. The Model S with panoramic roof was at 62 decibels. The glass roof Model S was at 62 decibels and the Model 3 was at 64 decibels. So really not a big change there. And at 65 miles an hour, the Model S with panoramic roof was at 66 decibels, the glass roof 68 decibels, and the Model 3 at 67, so right there in the middle. So at higher speeds, it really didn't make much of a difference, but at lower speeds where we really saw it on the Model 3. So it's kind of interesting to see. Normally I would have guessed it probably was at higher speeds, but not so much. And just to go over it again, a one decibel increase or decrease will translate to about a 26% difference in sound energy and equates to about a 7% difference in sound loudness. Uh, one cool thing I did find actually though is this really cool website. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. Check it out. You can actually up top change your target. Actually, let me pull you guys off of here. Let's see. Okay, so you can actually change your target difference. So here's a six decibel difference, three decibel, one decibel, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. There's actually a test here. You can do a flat, you can do six decibels down, six decibels up, and then there's a test. So in this test here, you just click this little question mark box right here. It will play a sound and midway through, it will either go up, down, or stay the same. So you're supposed to select here if you think it went six decibels up, six decibels down, or stayed the same. Uh, multiple guesses not allowed. New vote triggers a new draw. So you can kind of get some practice up here. You can play around up here. But uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick and see what my results are. Down. Flat. Down. Up. Down, down, up, flat, flat, up. Cool. Check it out. I got a 10 out of 10. 100%. Awesome. But anyway, it's really cool. Go ahead and... Uh, Play around, there's the website. I'll link it down in the description below though. But yeah, play around with those and let me know in the comment section down below what is the lowest you can hear and actually get a 10 out of 10 on. That's kind of cool. Um, but that way you can actually judge the audible difference. Obviously it's different in a car, but this way you can kind of get an idea for it because it is pretty interesting. I mean, when I go down to 0.5 and 0.2, there's really nothing there. Even one decibel can be kind of tricky. Let's do one for fun.
Okay, so one decibel, not a problem. Let's go to 0.5. Correct. 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 Okay, so even 0.5, like, you can kind of get it. 0 0.2, 0 0.1, I'm not going to try it because I think it'll get too tricky. But definitely check it out. I'll leave it down in the description. Go play around on the website and comment what you can hear and still get a 10 out of 10 on. It's kind of interesting. Just make sure, obviously, you have earphones or kind of a, an environment with not a lot going on because you're really going to want to pay attention. That's basically it for this one. We kind of found out that Model 3 at lower speeds tends to be a little bit louder, but uh, it kind of goes against what a lot of people have been saying, that the Model 3 is louder at highway speeds. I didn't find that info, so, I mean, maybe you can let me know if you have something different, but I didn't see that in my data. That's basically it, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. Tesla did just unleash a bunch of new inventory cars, so those actually are able to get the federal and state tax incentive, so definitely check them out. And if you're looking to buy a newer inventory model, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below or at the top of our website. Doing so will actually get you free unlimited supercharging, which is the only way to get it. If you do use our code, though, definitely send me an email through the website so I have your contact info. That way, when we take delivery of our next-gen Roadster, we can have you guys come out enjoy the experience with us, do some test rides, test drives, really have a good time with those. Uh, some really exciting things coming to the channel though, definitely stay tuned. Uh, this right here will no longer be uh, actually in making a studio, so that's very exciting. Gonna have a couple different stations there, um, maybe even a gaming channel coming, I don't know, some really cool things coming. Uh, definitely stay tuned though. And if you are in Colorado looking for a Model 3 to rent, Nick is renting his out on Turo. I'll go ahead and link all Nick's contact information down below. And uh, big thanks to him for letting us use the Model 3 for some of these tests. I have some other really cool tests coming too, so be sure to subscribe if you have not yet. But that's basically it for this one. Definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other videos. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.